What's happening, YouTube? We are less than a month away from Shy season three. And in the same way I dropped trailer reviews last year and breakdowns prior to power, we're gonna do it this year with the Shy. It's a great show. And in this video, we're gonna discuss two Easter eggs I found in this video that'll kind of let you know more of what's gonna be going on in this season. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure, be sure to turn on those notifications so when I drop any video, you guys get them. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, black people, white people, all people, me, Larry, and T-Streams are going live at 9 p.m. We go live every Wednesday, Monday, and Friday at 9. In particular, tonight, we're going live to discuss what the hell is going on with the killing of unarmed black men in America, specifically talking about George Floyd. Turn in, tune in tonight, because we're going to be raw, and we're going to talk some stuff, because we need to get some answers. Back to the Shy Season 3 trailer. So you see all kinds of events happening. You see celebrations. You see death. You see people getting baptized. You see a lot of good things going on in this trailer. You even see Lena Waithe in this trailer. Look like she's giving the best sermon of her life. But one of the Easter eggs that could have been missed is, do you see Jake sitting next to Kevin in the private school? Oh yeah. We should have seen that one coming simply because we know Jake is now gonna be taking over the crime industry because his brother is dead on behalf of Duda. What better place to go to to make a whole lot of money than to get into this private school with his homeboy, Kevin? And you can see them looking at people and you can see them sitting beside each other. The question you might want to know is, does Kevin get involved in selling of the drugs? And now the main point of this video is who's in the casket. If I can't take his place, they ain't gonna stop me from having your back. He wasn't meant to be a jungle. For someone Let's try to break that down. The easiest thing to say would be that that's Reg, because throughout this trailer, you see them sipping on some champagne. You actually see Jake pouring out alcohol, and I'm assuming he's pouring that out because of someone. Who would you think? His brother Reg is why he's pouring out the alcohol. But when you see the casket, we obviously know that that is Kevin standing at that window because he's got on the outfit that he was wearing previously in this trailer when he's standing there with Emmett. You see the flower, you see his face. But is that really and truly Reg in that casket? Someone said to me that this could be one of Kevin's parents because when you cut back to this scene in the trailer you see police tape you see someone has died and they're saying that if this was Reg in the casket they would show Jake standing at the window but this is someone pertinent to Kevin's character that somehow or another might have got caught up in this situation where the police got the crime tape out and that's why you see Kevin standing at the window of the casket so if I had to draw a conclusion, and I'm still gonna stick to these two people, it is either Reg in that casket or one of Kevin's parents. But I make these videos to try to shorten the time it takes to get to the new season for when we start doing episode reviews. So I want you guys to leave me all your comments. Who do you think is in the casket? Is it Reg in the casket? or is it one of Kevin's parents? If I had to put money on it, my number one and number two would be those two individuals, but I think it's someone more pertinent to Kevin's character, possibly one of his parents. Honorable mention could be Brandon. We know Kevin had became close to Brandon, and also in this trailer, you saw Emmett talking to Kevin, excuse me, saying, I know I can't take his place, but then they cut from the trailer. So I also think it's worth mentioning it could be Brandon in that casket. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. Tune in tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as we go live to discuss this issue with George Floyd 
and what's going on with black men in America. What can we do to finally get some solutions? And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.